I could count to you the number of times that music literally pulled me out from deep, dark holes and brought me back to life. My name is Dinora Marquez. I am the director of the Latino Art Strings program at the United Community Center. I was born in Mexico City. My earliest memories of music, of course, are at home, listening to rancheras, listening to cine mexicano of the 50s. And to me, it was clear that music was a language of fantasy, of magic, of deep expression. So when we moved to the United States, I had the opportunity to start playing the violin. Literally, that became my voice. Unfortunately, my family suffered from domestic violence. The instrument became self-expression and safe space. It was safe at school where there was bullying, and it was safe at home where there was violence. I can honestly say it's what saved my life, and, and it's not a platitude, it's, it's just a fact. At first glance, it's not very sexy to anyone to say, hey, you know, I want to start a strings program. And I'm like, there are children who will be living what I lived, families who will have experienced what my family experienced or are doing so now. And I thought, this is it. This is a place where I get to give back what I received in so many ways through music. Dinora really cares profoundly about the people that she works with. I think also her understanding of music, not just as an art form, but also as really a means of survival, which it was for her and it seems to be for many of her students. I think that that's something that she brings to uh, all of her activities uh, as a musician and as a teacher. You know, usually like they'll walk in and people say, oh, mira, cute little Latinos with violins. And then they start playing. Jaws drop and they're like, wait a minute, why are they sounding like this? And that's the other element of it. They're sounding like this with the music from their heritage. It's a really unusual quality to be moved that much by a group of young people. So what does that do for me? And it just fills me up with joy and with life and with hope. And instead of having the experience that I had, they're walking forward into the world knowing who they are, proud of being who they are. They can stand and say, yeah, I am who I am, and that you can't stop. And also, it's inspiring to me to see how young women step up into their <sighs> It's also inspiring for me to see how young women step into their power because they have somebody doing that that they've watched throughout their youth. When I started the program, I always said, I'm going to hand my program off to one of my graduates. And people would giggle. It's like, yeah, it's going to last that long. And there they are. There's four of them teaching in the program now. You know, if I died tomorrow, it would keep going. They would keep it alive. They know what it's for. That's accomplishment. That's where I'm like, how did I ever get so lucky to be able to do this for this long and see that happen? Mm -hmm.